left them here for us. We were gonna buy some, but I mean, heck, we could use these. It extends the rods a little bit higher. I'll get it later. Leave those right there for right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Upper Texas Gulf Coast. If you're new to my channel, welcome to MDLR Fishing. We're in Galveston Bay right now, and uh, we've got a pretty nasty weather system pushing through right now. I got it. Um, but yesterday we had such a great time out here fishing for black drum with live blue crab that we're gonna do it again. Uh, I would say we're behind the power curve as far as time goes, but that's not exactly true because uh, the bite hasn't been starting until around five and going on into like 6 p.m., maybe even longer. So check it out. We've got the generator. In the event that we don't get hit during the daylight hours, we can light up our area right here with the floodlights and uh, be able to fish on into the evening hours. So we're gonna get set up, finish doing all of this stuff right here and get some crab in the water. Hopefully them big old huge black drum are gonna be willing to play today. I don't hear nothing. Dang, I shattered that claw. Oh wait, yeah, wait, we have the whole other crap, don't you? Getting ready to get this second set up out there. I hope that was rain and not crab juice that I just dumped on my hand. Be pretty disgusting. No, that's rain. It's raining? Yeah. All right, well, we'll have to put the generator inside here. I'm not going to set that up until it's absolutely necessary. Chances. My hook was already sharp, and we got this other rod that we will be setting up. Don't have a ton of crab, like I said in the intro. We've got, I think we've got one dead guy in here, and then like a half of a dead one from yesterday. It smells awful. I don't know how those fish like it, but the two that we're sending out on the first rods are or was alive first in piece of that guy hopefully he won't die in vain it is starting to rain though so we're gonna have to rethink our generator system weatherman got it wrong it was not supposed to rain today classic all right let's do this catapult time I think the what's the tide doing because I was looking at the water just a minute ago when I was setting up the rod holders you're going straight out right yours is going straight out sent that one to the abyss And, so that we don't mess nothing up, we are gonna set this drag like perfect. All right, spool is kinda barely moving, which is what I want. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, 
it should lock us in place the line is taut so plenty of tension and uh, we're gonna wait I'm gonna set that one up cast out three setups so we better our chances and we use all this stanky crab we're gonna see what do they prefer so the little one's gonna have the stanky crab we got some dirty black drum out there actually we're gonna use this one before we use the stanky crab I mean, I guess you can consider him stanky because he's not moving. He's fresh dead, y'all. Don't judge us. Mine? Is it moving? I'll go and do it one more. Oh yeah, look at that. The orange stuff still looks good. Like mac and cheese I made for my grandson earlier. Did you eat it? Oh gosh, no. That would be disgusting. What I eat? No, good no. I wouldn't dare eat this. darn fillet knife <sighs> now we just wait keep an eye on all these fellas One hour update, zero bites, which I don't understand because the conditions on paper, according to the buoy, are a lot better than they were yesterday when we had a really good bite. And uh, it's now 624, I think is what it just said. And we, I mean, we had already went through all of our, well, not all of the crab, we went through the crabs that we had already cut and caught fish on them uh, no bites zero bites uh, and we're losing the sunlight already it's over the horizon lots of fog so we got this completely set up stadium lights you know what i hope all those switches are on otherwise i'm gonna have to lower this whole thing back down but i'm getting ready to fire the generator up First try, and only one light on. Actually, I think there's two lights on. Yeah, two lights on, two lights off. I need one more light facing straight down here at our work area. I'll just let this bad boy warm up. We're ready to go. You can literally see the mist flying through the lights. Yeah. Never pick it up. Probably not. Probably not. That's a GoPro lens. No, it looks a little bit like yeah. Hello y'all. Yeah, there we are. All set up. Main concentration of light is right here, so that's where we're gonna have to fight them. Try to come over towards these middle rocks. Man, somebody's cooking fajitas. I <laughs> know. But hey, we got the right skin color. I'm gonna move this rod holder over here. Let's see where we can stick it in. Man, 
there's really nowhere. Uh oh, Christian, yours is going off, Christian. You feel him? Yeah, I'm letting him get a hold of it now. I felt like he was situating it in his mouth. Yeah, I just saw it. Like he did the same thing that my second one did. You know how it just like whack, whack? And then I just waited and waited and waited and finally just let him have it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wait a little bit longer than I normally would. As long as you can feel him. Missed him. Yeah, definitely. It looks like oh, look what he did. With the yeah, that may have been what he was like had it all the way in his mouth. Yeah, unfortunate. Gosh, that sucks. Water temp is still holding steady. I mean, it, it's climbing just a tad bit. Sixty-four point six. The pressure, all the way down to one thousand twelve millibars. Ideal conditions. I just, I don't, I can't explain it. Oh yeah. It's about 7.30, so the bite did cut on. Just a little later than usual. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, Real you're on. on. Yes. Let's, get, let's just get this guy in. Yeah, 7.30. He went on a nice run. These last two days, this black drum have been uh, a little more amped up than I'm used to. Since that drag down on him, I just kind of just muscle him in here. Oh man, light is way too bright. Sorry, I'm trying to get this. There we go. Let's see, so far the biggest I've caught this season is a 40 incher. Oh man, yeah, that's a tank. Nice. You think he beats 40? No, not at all. Probably, so, probably right at 40, something like that. Okay. Let me go get the. Uh, the net. Yeah. Okay. I don't want my hair. They look so goofy. <clears throat> oh man, what a freaking tank. First fish of the night. I... Like you had the good luck crab this time. Usually your rod is getting hit first. Yeah. No, not even close. Thirty-seven and a quarter. Thirty-seven. Let's see, is this a good rock right here? Yeah. He's scaring all the bait. <laughs> 728 when that bite took place. So we've got probably another 45 minutes in the cards. And at that point, uh, we're just gonna take the crab off and head out of here. I mean, it is very cold. The winds are coming at us at five knots and uh, with the mist going it, it just gets everything wet and i don't want to ruin the the microphones and yeah it's just not worth it especially on a bite that has yet to establish itself so uh yeah i don't know we'll uh we'll figure something out maybe uh, pick back up where we leave off from today on another day dang it man kamikaze June bug. Look at this guy. It's another thing. There's tons of June bugs out here. 
Anyhow. Oh, I wish I had... Oh, look, yours. Oh, yeah, take it. Yes. He was definitely running with that one. Nice. He's on. Holy cow. I just, I cannot believe that, son. Like, <laughs> literally talking about leaving. Uh, yeah. the excitement so you go from like dull to acting like a kid but that can always work <sighs> oh gosh he's got a lot of head shakes i'm wondering if it's going to be a bull red oh dang give him some drag if he starts trying to do that I don't know how your your drag is very okay there we go like when he puts tension on I get scared that he's gonna snap something and I, I tightened your drags the way I would tighten my uh, Shimano and it is cinched down uh, is it you think it's a big one ah uh, yeah I think so look at that holy yeah. cow this is a big one Boy, he's got a lot of fight. There he is right there. Is that red? No, it's a, a black drum, but he was fighting like a darn red. Yeah, that's how mine oh. Oh. Holy cow. This guy is big. What what happened? It, is he hooked in the mouth? Oh yeah, okay. The weight was on his uh, dorsal fin. Yeah. Goodness, this guy, look how rambunctious he is. Oh my gosh, what a fight. Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, he's a, he's a big boy. Got it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. He's a, uh, yeah, I think so. Woo, my gosh. Oh, I feel so good. I was just so worried that we were going to have to pack up and go home empty handed. <laughs> he fought, he fought so darn hard. That is insane. All right, here we go, buddy. We'll see you later. Oh my gosh, look at that, son. They are heavy and they are fighting like crazy. We'll see you later, bud. Holy moly. Oh wow. That was a, that was a good one. Oh, what an amazing, what an amazing, yes, sir. what an amazing fight, y'all. <laughs> I seriously thought we were going to go home empty handed, but there you go again. The Texas City Dyke, it, it just continues to perform beyond our expectation. I swear I heard the drag. It's always good for like one or two fish. Right whenever we think uh, we're going to go home empty handed, Lady Luck's on our side and we get something to just take the line. Are you on? No, not yet. Oh, okay. So uh, two more setups uh, that still have crab on them. We're going to pull that one in and break it down, start uh, getting things ready to go. And if anything else happens, well, Y'all will see that uh, right now. 
and in the event that uh, we don't get hit before uh, 9 45 then we're gonna just break everything down so i'm gonna end this one right now on a good note got the blood pumping nice 38 inch black drum that thing fought like crazy and uh yeah you just can't ask for anything else better so uh thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate y'all's love and support it's because of y'all that i get to come out here and do this what i love i have a passion for fishing and just i enjoy sharing it with each and every one of y'all for those of you that are interested in the gear that we use that's going to be linked in the video description down below you can click on those and if it takes you to Amazon, just know that if you make a purchase there, we will earn a small commission. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, until next time, tight lines, y'all. Woo, what a fight. <laughs>